What's up guys, welcome to Escape in Paradise, and today we're talking about why incels hate self-accountability or they can't even like address it as a fact that they should potentially go for. I'm going to get into it, a several reasons as to why I think that is a, just a true factor in general, but first we should break down a couple things. Number one, what is an incel? Incel, aka an involuntary celibate, is a person, as the name suggests, cannot get sex due to means that they cannot control, i.e. looks, or how society views people who look the way they do. And because of this factors, you know, uh, an average normie everyday person like, okay, so if I'm ugly as shit, if I'm short as fuck, if I have like, you know, if I'm not delivering the packages that I need to deliver in very, um, various ways, lol, then I need to compensate this, that, and the third, you know what I mean? Like maybe I should be better in other years. Maybe I should focus on this if I can't make up for this. You know what I mean? Like, like something, it's basically like if you had a broken car, right? If you had a broken car. And then you had a spare tire in the trunk and you put the spare tire on the car while yes, because you have a spare tire on the car, you will not look as optimal and your car won't be as valuable. I think I'm not sure the the analogy starting to lose this way here, but it won't be as valuable if you try to sell the back century. This is true value will be lost because you lost the original wheel. That being said, it's still a car I can get from point A to B. Now, does that mean all incels are basically people who are settling essentially? Um, are basically, who, who, basically people who go out the incels are settling? Maybe, but that's besides the point. My whole point is this. No matter what you lack, you can always make up for it in especially the romantic areas. Because at the end of the day, as desperate as guys are for women, women are just as desperate for men. It's very obvious. However, it gets brushed under the rug because the power dynamic exists. So we're getting back to why incels hate self-accountability. Now, one factor is because it is comfortable to just brew in your hate. Have you ever met like an average just conservative or anyone who just loves just stewing in the juices? It's easy to do that because you can be like, oh, this is happening because society, none of my choices led me to this. I was born this way and there's nothing I could do about it. It's just easy to do that. And then go online and say, yeah, aren't these women awful? I'm like, yeah, they are. Jesus Christ. I saw three women fuck 10 dudes last night. It was awful. And it's like, um, hello? Uh, like just <laughs> get to their level and then maybe you know you can talk about it later also another thing too is like when it comes to accountability there are a numerous amount of things you can go along that line now for most examples um when it comes to the incels reference to women as in women who are successful on social media and get either like money from being a girl i.e like only fans or just <clears throat> getting offers because they're a girl and attractive when in reality it's just as desperate if not um telling of our gender the male gender that we will fiend and go after any woman because they, they have some sign of it some sort of attraction i mean like it, it, there's a transaction there like while it may seem like the girls are hunting for the dudes the girls or the guys are also hunting for the girls it's very symbiotic relationship sometimes you can get parasitic one way or the other but regardless it is a very symbiotic relationship and essentially if you break down even their whole like foundational standard point of social media bimbo gets millions of dollars off her simps it's it's a core thing right one the woman provides value for being sexually attractive in this specific case and other the simps or the other men who are attracted to her in most cases they give her money that is their value and that's how you're supposed to look at things now Look at an incel, right? The average incel. Basically, they look like me, essentially. Like, a little bit like me. A little bit more scuffed up than me, believe it or not. But that's the average look of an incel. And then you take into account, like, they're just overall shitty personalities. They, they're entitled. They think they're entitled to every single thing that, that has ever been thrown at them. It's essentially, like, the incel mentality is, like, if you were to concentrate and congregate the, um, the single child, men, uh, just, like, mentality to be like, eh want it all like that whole selfishness just concentrate that and boom that's what you get you get the, the building foundation for an incel because they believe every woman is theirs they be ni they're nice to a woman you deserve to give me pussy you know like you, you say hi to her you deserve to give me pussy everything is a goal to them just to get pussy and if they don't get it and they eventually turn into the epitome of the true idealized scum of men i.e men as trash now Here's the thing, right? The reason why I say they hate self-improvement too, because self-improvement, whether you like it or not, 
requires yourself to improve yourself it requires dedication that isn't time spent on just hating something you can't control and instead trying to fix other factors that you can to make yourself more valuable like exercising or picking up a hobby or drinking water yes drinking water look at that big thing back there I started drinking water. Next thing you know, I had like 30 girlfriends. It's true. Don't don't source me on that. But yeah, it's just like all those factors, they, they distract them from being in their hate. And being in your hate is very like listen, listen, listen. When I was an incel, right? Being in my hate and looking at every woman and calling her basically a slut or whatever was like my favorite part of the day. It genuinely was because I was able to vent all of the frustration I have from putting sex at the top priority, right? I, it, I was just able to be like, so the reason I'm not getting any is because they are being too selective. They don't know if they're really good for them. They don't know that I'm the best guy in the world. It, it's basically like if you were to break down the social degradation of a man, it goes from average person to simp to incel. Okay. And all those in between, basically everyone else, like I would say a doomer, black pill to between simp and incel, like that type of level right there. You know what I mean? Chad would be like all the way up there. But the thing is, right, at the end of the day, your aesthetics or outside personality, okay, you really can't fix that at the end of the day. You can't fix if you have like a long ass chin. You can't fix if you have a busted ass nose. Again, if you're not rich, if you are rich and you can't fix these things, you know, and then the end. And so no problem. Just make yourself look handsome, get a diet plan, boom, you're fixed. But if, if for most people in this capitalist society, you can't fix those things. So you have to settle for something else you can fix. Your personality. And you can definitely fix personality by getting yourself around people, winners, who just see women as regular people because that's that's basically it guys women are regular people to be respected it's not that hard to respect women it really isn't and matter of fact it's much harder to hate women because you have to justify the women that you do like for not like if you're not hating them right because like it's like because i was watching some andrew tate video i think he, was, he used to be like an mma fighter and um he's like yeah i always hang with my brother my brother my best friend if i need to go chop down some trees me right next to me my girlfriend said between her and my brother i choose my brother every single time because that brother is my man and then he's like but i can't understand why people like their sisters though sisters are weird that's so weird the relationship with brother with sister is so uh yucky 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 i, I can't i can't imagine because like, i only see women as sex objects and it's like well hold on there if you only view them as objects, then of course you're going to have difficulty talking to them because they're not objects, they're just human beings. Now, the one thing I do see a lot of incels also do is the, um, the both sides. Well, well, men can't say this, but women can say this and get away with it. It's, it's basically because, you know, it is, it is very, very, very normalized to make fun of women. Even nowadays, even if you get backlash for it, it's still normalized. Like, you know what I mean? Like the, the, the top tier insult to call out a man is like bitch or it's basically it. like a soy boy or just, or just, just gay or whatever. Like very feminine quality is a feature. Being gay is a feminine, but you get my point how like gay and feminine are very tied and um, associated with one another. Even though technically it's literally impossible to be feminine and, and a man if you're fucking another man. That goes into the heteronormative. That goes to heteronormative. That goes into the heteronormative agenda, but that's another issue within itself. But yeah, basically, they hate self improvement because it will force them to get out of the mindset of them hating their objects that they view are women. And if they can't hate women, then they're gonna have to face reality that everything, or most likely everything, that they failed at in regards to chasing women was mostly their fault. Okay, that's basically it. I went on numerous tangents, but they all connect at the end of the day, and I love it that way. All right. See you guys for the stream in about two hours. Joy yourself.